Hey guys, welcome to another video. My name is Katherine Vargas and today we're going to be doing this very pretty full cut crease. It's been a long time since I've done full cut creases. I absolutely like hate them. I just feel like they take me so long to have hooded eyes and I just find them really hard to do on myself. But today I decided to go ahead and step out of my comfort zone and just a do a look i wanted to work with some pinks today so i did a little bit of spring ish looks i did a little bit of pinks with a pop of yellow and then a nice little smoky like liner moment there so that's what i did today i hope you guys love it so that is going to be today's look don't forget to comment and subscribe let me know what other videos you want to see i'm just grinding videos this week so i'm kind of like trying to figure out what i want to do but yeah go ahead let me know down below what you want you guys want to see or what products um is coming out new that you're interested in and i will try to get a video on that let me stop rambling and without further ado let's just jump right into this video so I'm taking the Blends palette by Blends Bunny Cosmetics and I'm starting off with the shade of Vamp. I'm going to start placing this on my socket and then winging it out because we are doing a full cut crease. And I am just going to do this multiple times because I really really want to build up the shade. Now we're going in with this lighter shade and we're going to use that to blend out the vamp shade. The shade is called Chase. Then we're going in with the shade Sunset and just using a very, very big fluffy brush as you see here to just help blend out the Chase shade. Then I'm going back in with each and every color just to re-intensify. And then I'm going in with the black shade from the palette. This is really going to give the look like dimension here. And I'm just building the shade up, going back in with the rest of the colors and just making sure that everything looks nice and blended together. Now I'm going with some micellar water and I'm just going to do the full cut crease. Look how easy this method is. It literally did it for me. Then I'm going in with the P. Louise blank canvas and I'm basically just filling in the space that I created with the micellar water. This is like a nice little trick and you just want to go and make sure that you blend out the edges right there or else it's going to leave like a really bad harsh line. I went in with the shade Secrets to add a little bit of yellow to the lid and now I'm just working on a little wing here. I'm going in with those three shades that I use. And it's okay if it's messy because as you see here, I go in with a Q-tip to go ahead and fix it and make it sharp. So I went ahead and added some mascara and now it's time for primer. I went in with the Professional and then to add a little bit of glow, I went in with the e.l.f. Halo Glow. I believe this is in a medium tan. Then for foundation, I went in with the Urban Decay and added some Rare Beauty just to give it some color. I did lose the footage where I blended this out so we're gonna go ahead and skip that for bronzer i'm taking um, a new sticks in bondi bay but i always do my concealer before i do the bronzer so for concealer i'm gonna take the tarte shape tape in a light medium sand then i'm gonna blend that out Then I'm going to go ahead and blend out the bronzer and then from there we're just going to add some blush. This blush is from Juvia's Plays. This one's in the shade Rosy Posy. You're going to see that I barely put any, right? But this is one of the most pigmented blush I have in my collection. It just looks so beautiful. Definitely worth the money, guys. Then I'm taking the collab powder to go ahead and set my face. To add a little bit of a bronziness, I'm going to go in with the Fenty Beauty Sun Stalker and with a big brush, I'm just going to put it all over. I'm going to go in with the Glow Recipe Watermelon Mist, then adding some yellow on my waterline, going back in with those shades that I use just to run it on my bottom lash line. Adding some mascara, then for lips, I'm taking the lip liner in Wise by Rare Beauty. Then I'm going to go in with MAC Cosmetics in Mocha. And this will complete the finished look. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!